they can sit over here. Stay away from Bruce. He, you never know what's going to happen. Stay away. But no, come on up here and sit, and we'll go on this side over here. And it's great to have you all here today. Welcome. It's good to see you. God bless you. So, do you know what today is? Today's kind of a special day, actually. It's, I don't know if this is for real or not, but according to Twitter on the social network, today is Love Your Pet Day. National Love Your Pet Day. Now, on Twitter, every day, like Love Your Spaghetti Day or, you know, uh, Love Chocolate Day, which is every day as far as I'm concerned. But today is Love Your Pet Day. We love our pets, don't we? We love them. We, uh, we, we hug them. We treat them well. We feed them. Sheila, you can roll the next. That's okay. Look at that. Isn't that great? Isn't that shows how much love. And does the dog look like the dog is loving as well? Yeah. Dog? Yeah. And then there's the cat. See? There's the cat. We love our pets. Now, why do we love our pets so much? We love them because, why, why? You're a part of the family. Very good, exactly. What else? What else? Now, there's an unusual pet, isn't it? That's a, that, that, yeah, that's a, what, do you know what kind of pet that is? What is it? You know what kind of bird that is? It's a cockatiel, cockatiel. And uh, people have all kind of different pets, don't they? But generally, it doesn't matter what the pet is, you love your pet. And you love your pet because your pet needs you, right? You feel needed. And when we feel needed, we, it makes us feel good. It makes us feel loved, doesn't it, when we feel needed? Uh, now, it's not exact. In fact, in fact, one of the things we do is we get we go to pet rescue. Now, what is pet rescue? What is that? What does that mean, pet rescue? What do you think that means? Pets that don't have a home. Very good. That's right. That's right. They're feral. Some of them are feral. Some of them have been dropped off by their owners or simply, you know, kicked out of the car or left out of the house. And pet rescue, you go to the pet rescue, there are lots of different ones, and you, you save a pet's life. You save an animal's life. And that's a very special thing, isn't it? It really is, whether it's a dog or a cat or a pet. And you rescue them because why? They need rescuing, right? And we love to rescue our pets. We love to rescue animals. And we love to care for them. Now let me ask you this question. Do people need to be rescued? Are there people that need to be rescued? Do people have needs? Do they? Tell me some of the things that people might need. Water, good. What else? Food, what else? A house, good. A shelter. Let's take a look. What, what does that say? Need what? A job. Need a job. And sometimes people will tell us what they need, won't they? They'll tell us what they need. And if we're able, we'll do our best to help them. Uh, do you know if that person likes you or not? Does it matter? Jesus taught us that it doesn't matter. Now, you know, with our pets, we want them to love us, right? And we love them. But Jesus said that we love each other whether they love us back or not. We love them. Because God loves them. We love them because Jesus died for them. And so we take care of people that have needs, whether they like us or not. How do we do that? Let me show you what. This is actually from our, our city. Do you know what that is? That's the shelter. That's the shelter where you get the homeless shelter. That's right. The Salvation Army shelter. That's what that is. And the Salvation Army does what we as Christians do. They, they, they open their doors up. Now, it doesn't matter who comes to that door. If they need a place to stay, it's there for them, isn't it? And it doesn't say, well, do you love us or not? Well, do you love Jesus or not? Well, do you love the people here or not? No. If you need a place to stay, in the name of Christ, we're here to help you. I want to show you another rescue place. Do you recognize that? Which church is that? Ours. 
And what, that, what does that cross say on the top? What does it mean to put the cross at the highest point on the church? Do you know why we do that? We do that so people can see it and know they can come here and get help, which they can. And we rescue people. I mean, that's what we do. And we love people. It doesn't matter if they love us or not. They don't have to be religious. They don't have to be from a certain place or speak a certain language. And that's what Jesus taught us, that to love each other, we have to help those who are in need. And when, we ha when someone has a need, we don't ask, do you like me or do you love me? We don't do that, do we? As, no, we don't. And we don't expect it, do we? We just give them what they need. And that's how Jesus taught us to love. Let's pray, okay? Let's pray. And you're welcome to pray after I say a part of the prayer. Dear Lord, Dear Lord we thank you, thank you. For, teaching for teaching us how to love. And how to care for the needs of those around us. Amen. Okay, see you next week. Thanks for coming.